Hello and welcome to this video. In a video that I made some time ago, I said to you that in the diversity visa program, all is not about data, all does not depend on data analysis. And I went further to explain that there may be other factors that come into play and at the end of the day, what you expected the outcome of your data analysis to be, it may turn out to be different. Now, quite recently, I was going through the statistics on the official website of the Bureau of Council Affairs of the United States State Department, and I came across something that goes in that line. And so I decided to share that with you, and that is what I'm going to do in today's video. So now let's go over to the official website of the Bureau of Council Affairs of the State Department and consider what I'm talking about. These are diversity visa program statistics on the official website of the Bureau of Council Affairs and this concerns the number of entries submitted to the diversity visa lottery during fiscal year 2019 to fiscal year 2021. And it concerns these three fiscal years because they are the final fiscal years for which a breakdown of the data is currently available. Going through these statistics, you will realize that for fiscal year 2019, the Africa region submitted close to 8 million entries to the diversity visa lottery. During that same year, the Asia region submitted close to 2 million entries, and then the Europe region submitted in excess of 4 million. For 2020, for the Africa region, in excess of 8 million entries submitted. For the Asia region, once again, close to 2 million, and then for the Europe region, once again, in excess of 4 million. And then finally, for fiscal year 2021, the Africa region submitted in excess of 3 million entries, the Asia region in excess of 1 million entries, and then the Europe region in excess of 2 million entries. So what we just saw concerns the number of entries that were submitted to the diversity visa lottery during the last three years that the breakdown of data is currently available for. And as we saw from those statistics, the Africa region is on top with the highest number of entries submitted to the diversity visa lottery during the three years in question. The Africa region is followed in second place by the Europe region and then in third place, we have the Asia region before moving on to the smaller regions, which I'm not going to go into. So in other words, when it comes to the number of entries or qualified entries that are submitted to the diversity visa program or the diversity visa lottery every year, you have the highest number coming from the Africa region. And then in second place, we have the Europe region. In third place, we have the Asia region before the smaller regions. Now, remember that order, Africa, Europe, and then Asia when it comes to the number of entries that are submitted to the diversity visa lottery every year. Now, let's consider a second item. This time is the number of entrants that are selected from each of those regions at the end of the selection process. So let's return to the statistics on the official website to consider that second item. When it comes to selection, during the DV 2022 program for the Africa region, we had just above 49,000 entrants selected. For the Asia region, just above 24,000 entrants selected. And for the Europe region, close to 40,000 entrants selected. For the DV 2023 program, for the Africa region, we had in excess of 49,000 entrants selected. For the Asia region, just above 25,000 entrants selected. And for the Europe region, just above 40,000 entrants selected. And for your program, DV 2024, for the Africa region, we had just above 55,000 entrants selected. For the Asia region, close to 28,000 entrants selected, and for the Europe region, 
in excess of 50,000 entrants selected. Now, as you may have observed, the same trend that we saw when it came to the first item that we considered also applies in the case of this second item. In other words, when it comes to the number of entrants that are selected in the diversity visa lottery, the highest number come from the Africa region. In second position, we have the Europe region. In third position, we have the Asia region before going down to the smaller regions. Now, if we should consider that trend, the trend that exists when it comes to considering or analyzing both of these items, one would expect that further along the line, the Africa region would remain on top. In other words, one would reason that because the Africa region submits the highest number of entries to the diversity visa lottery and the highest number of entrants that are selected during the selection process also comes from the Africa region. So the highest number of visas issued would go to the Africa region. That is a logical reasoning based on the data, based on the statistics that we just saw. But is that the case? Now, let's go over to Zartitius's website and consider visa issuances for the last two or three diversity visa programs, including your program DV2024. Now, as you can see on your screen, for issuances during the DV2022 program, for the Africa region, we had close to 19,000 visas issued. For the Asia region, in excess of 11,000 visas issued. And then for the Europe region, in excess of 21,000 visas issued. When it comes to DV2023, for the Africa region, we had close to 21,000 visas issued. For the Asia region, in excess of 9,000 visas issued. And then for the Europe region, in excess of 21,000 visas issued. And then finally, for your program, DV2024 program, as things stand at the moment, for the Africa region, so far we have close to 7,000 visas issued. For the Asia region, around 2,500 visas issued. And then for the Europe region, around 7,500 visas issued so far. Now, as we just saw from the issuances data, the trend that exists when it comes to the number of entries that are submitted to the diversity visa program, as well as the number of entrants that are selected from the various regions, that trend does not exist when it comes to visa issuances. Logically speaking, because the Africa region is on top when it comes to the number of entries that are submitted to the diversity visa lottery and the Africa region remains on top when it comes to the number of entrants that are selected at the end of the selection process, we would have thought that the highest number of visas issued will go to the Africa region. But as we just saw, that is not the case. This means that somewhere other factors came into play that caused that trend that was established from the beginning to not be maintained up to the end. So what I'm saying in essence is that if that happens when it comes to the statistics for several years, it could also happen in the case of a single fiscal year. The outcome that could be predicted based on a certain trend from the data may not play out at the end of the day because of other factors that may come into play. And that frequently happens in the diversity visa program. So as I said at the beginning, this is something that I saw in the statistics and I decided to share with you because it goes in line with the fact that in the diversity visa program, all is not about data, all does not depend on data. That is what I had to share with you in today's video. Thanks for watching it. See you, God willing, in the next video. Goodbye.